My name is Bill Zollers, and I serve on the Postal Service Board of Governors. Thank you for joining us for our virtual dedication of the Colorado Hair Streak Butterfly Stamp. This is the eighth stamp in the Postal Service series of non-machinable butterfly stamps, which are used on square or oversized greeting cards, invitations, and announcements. This particular butterfly is a state insect of Colorado, where it lives entirely in the canopy of oak trees and feeds on sap and fallen raindrops. It's known for a clever adaptation as its markings can fool birds into attacking its tail end, which allows it to escape mostly intact. And unlike some butterfly species, which travel hundreds of thousands of miles, the Colorado hair streak will spend its entire life within a few yards of its birthplace. To tell us more about this beautiful and unique butterfly, we have one of our country's leading entomologists, Dr. Paul Opler. It's a beautiful butterfly because of the iridescent purple that's due to the light rays bouncing off the ridges on the individual scales on the butterfly's wings. And there's only a couple, but a couple other species of butterflies that are found marginally in the United States that have purple on their wings, but it's nowhere near as attractive as the Colorado hair streak. In the morning, when the sun comes up, the butterflies still need to warm up. The first behavior of the day will be the butterflies will bask. In the sunlight, the butterflies will, will perch on the oak leaves and they'll occasionally fly from one part of the tree to another part of the tree during most of the day, off and on. And then in late afternoon, the male butterflies will start patrolling They'll fly around the oak tree uh, looking for receptive females. The females lay the eggs on the oak twigs, and then the eggs stay in that condition and they overwinter until the following spring when the oaks have broken bud and start to leaf out because this oak is deciduous. They're leafless in the winter. So the eggs are evolved to half when there's fresh leaves on the tree to feed on. So the caterpillars, as they grow, they shed their skin. Then the last time they turn into a chrysalid of the butterfly. And that stage lasts about 10 days. And then the adults has after 10 days in the chrysalid stage. So publishing a, a series of stamps showing butterflies, uh, people will look at them and Oh, I didn't know that there were so many different kinds of butterflies. E.O. Wilson, who's a very famous ecologist professor at Harvard, once said that insects are the little things that make the world work. A lot of these small animals are responsible for ecosystem services like pollination. And I think it's pretty close to about 50% of the different fruit and vegetable products in the United States, while well, they're reliant on, on insects for pollination. So just everything about butterflies is fascinating. As I dedicate this stamp, the memory of my nephew, Danny Sollers, is foremost in my mind. We lost Danny after a long battle with cancer last May. Danny also had a gray streak in his substantial head of hair, and he was a lifelong Minnesota Viking fan whose primary team color is purple. 
So for me and for Danny's family, the purple hair streak butterfly holds a special significance as a representation of his uniqueness, tenacity, and the joy he brought to so many. The Colorado Hair Streak stamp is available today at post offices nationwide. You can also have it delivered to your home or office by going to usps.com or calling 1-800-STAMP-24. Now, at this time, we're pleased to officially unveil the Colorado Hair Streak stamp.